Oh, good morning everybody. Danny from Deep South Homestead. We are uh, finishing up our, taking our corn up out of the ground. I went ahead and tilled it and limed it yesterday. We're planting uh, Red Ripper peas for seed. Uh, we're going to be uh, selling the seed if they make, praying that the deer don't get them, and the bugs and everything else, because we usually don't plant this time of the year. But we know that uh, there's going to be a shortage of seeds coming up, and we have lots of subscribers that are interested in some seeds. So we're going to try our best to get some seeds in the ground. Yes, I'm using fertilized. Because I'm in a big field, I don't have enough organic material to do it. I'm using a very low nitrogen fertilizer because peas don't need nitrogen. This is 82424. And because I don't have any planters and fertilizers and all from my cub form all, I gotta do this by hand. I'm just gonna do one row at a time. Put a little bit of fertilizer down the top of the row and plow the row up, put a little fertilizer, plow the row up. That's the only way I can do it because I gotta do it the hard way because I don't have uh, I don't have the implements to actually do it. Then we're gonna come behind it with the cedar from Hall's Tool. We're gonna plant our peas in there because I don't have a planter for the cub. So it's gonna be a little bit of a process, but you do what you gotta do, guys. guys we've got it done uh, I am wore out the heat index is already up in the 90s 
I am drenched with sweat. It is like high humidity. Horrible. Literally horrible weather. No breeze whatsoever. Uh, we got seven rows planted. Uh, had to go over it twice with the planter. Realized we had a too thin a plate. Wasn't putting the peas, but about ever two feet apart. So we had to go over it again. But we've got it done now. And we're basically just going to wait for them to come up. We're trying to... Uh, get completely finished now guys the sun is just coming through the trees right here this is how hot it is in the deep south right now it is miserable it is 7 45 in the morning and it's already in the 90s the heat index and the humidity this morning i looked was 98 percent which means we almost have total saturation right now so the temperature was actually the temperature was 77 when i got up Heat index before the sun ever come up was 86 degrees already. And now it's 747 now. And it's probably, I'm going to say it's probably in the 90s the way it feels. So today's probably going to be one of them scorchers. Yesterday was 108 degree heat index. Today's probably going to be pretty close to that. With no breeze, it's just miserable. And this is perfect. Believe it or not, this is perfect growing weather for field peas. So these are the Red Ripper field peas that we've got planted here we're planting these for seed uh, we might eat a few but mostly this whole field right here is strictly for seeds to be able to sell next year guys if these red rippers do like ours did in the bottom pasture here several years ago these peas will grow from the top of that hill all the way to the bottom of it all through one another out there and this will just be one giant jungle of peas. But I've got some stuff I've never used before coming to be able to plow little plants like little peas when they're coming up and stuff like that. And I hope to be able to show that uh, on the video. And today we showed using the cub. Now, now I got to go give it a bath because when you got something that looks that clean and that nice and you get dirt all over it everywhere, uh, it's hard for me just to stick it back in the shed like that. So I'm going to take it to the house and I'm going to take the water hose and I'm going to go over it and see if I can't wash it all off and uh, keep it nice and clean where it's not totally filthy and don't I'll start all rusting back up. I've been in the process of rebuilding some of my other plows. I'm putting new bolts and everything. And I'm just one of these kind that if I'm going to do that much work to something, I like to take care of it and that's what we're doing is we're trying to take care of what the lord has blessed us with so but i'm enjoying the cub and that's that's the thing that's the reason i got it is to be able to do this intense gardening now one thing i noticed when i use my uh kubota here i got two less rows than i did with the farm all cub the farm all cub has given me two extra rows so that i'm kind of happy about and I didn't realize it till this morning. And I realized that yesterday, when I took up what was already in here, I only had five rows here. And this morning, I've got seven. So it means that I have gained a little extra planting on my property. So that's going to mean we get more food per square foot of our garden. And I think that that will uh, I think that'll be a blessing in the near future. So thank you guys from Deep South Homestead.